name is Leon Margalit, and I'm the founder and the CEO of Omec Medical. And Omec Medical is developing a smart device for safer and more accurate epidural injections. But let me share with you a different story. Several years ago, my father was attending to the hospital for a standard orthopedic surgery. His doctor suggested to use the epidurals in order to block the pain of the surgery. In my father's case, he took three attempts in order to find the right place. Afterwards, my father suffered from severe pain and headaches and had to stay in the hospital lying on his bed for several three days rather than an overnight stay. Apparently, the duck punctured his spine and that caused the complication. What we didn't know then is that 30% of all epidurals are initially misplaced. 30%. During an epidural procedure, the physician needs to insert a needle into a very tiny space called the epidural space that surrounds the delicate spinal canal. The physician can only rely on his sense of feel. Now, what happens when needle is misplaced? First, if drug is not injected into the right place, the patient will still suffer from pain. Second, multiple attempts may be necessary. Two to four and even more injections that increases the procedure time and its cost. And third, if the physician by mistake punctured the spine, post-operative complications like my father can occur. So clearly, there is a need for a safer and more accurate epidural injection. We develop a smart device, single use, that integrates with current epidural kits and turns them into a smart solution. This user-friendly device actually continuously monitors the tissue resistance and alerts the physician with a visual signal once the needle penetrates into the right place. The device also adds safety, incorporates a safety mechanism that prevents the needle from overshooting into the spine. With our solution, everybody wins. Epidural injection will take less time and less cost. Physicians will no more walk blindly for more accurate injection and reduce complication. An annual save of more than $400 million for the hospitals. And the most important, our patients will be satisfied. The epidural market is huge. The 40 million injections that are given annually worldwide makes it a more than one billion market size. So we have a good product and a huge market. So we took it and went to the field to ask our users what they think. We spoke with 30 physicians from John Hopkins and from top Israeli hospitals and received great feedbacks validate our design. Thank you very much for hearing about the exciting innovation and I'm looking forward to speaking with you. I like the fact that it's uh, disposable and it, um, there is an unmet need there. Uh, I have two quick questions. Uh, one is, do you see this moving uh, from a more skilled physician to a less uh, skilled physician? And secondly, do you foresee that this may move from a doctor to a nurse? So, this, so a nurse could... Because basically you want to save time for the physician, so do you, do, you, do you expect the nurse to be using this device? Yeah, first of all, the United States, by the way, they certify the nurses that do anesthesia procedures, and some of them do even epidural. And yes, they, 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 we intended to, to present to the, to the physician and nurses a new device can, that can help them achieve a, the verified successful injection in lower time and with less complication. The number of 30% of misplacement is for all the population, for a new physician to the more experienced one. And the issue with the time is for everybody. And when we validated with the professional, when the new physician, everybody told that the device will do what he says and the price strategy will be in the region of epidural kits, there's no reason why not to use it.